Hi, I'm Judy Vitale with ReadTheStars.com here with your weekly horoscopes at work for the week of April 16th through the 22nd. We have two major shifts this week. One is Mercury going into Aries. That happens Monday at 6.42 p.m. And then on Thursday, we're going to have the sun move into Taurus. And this is a wonderful kind of feeling where we feel that spring is really finally here. Yes, spring did arrive in March when Aries was the sign of the moment. But now that we have Taurus, we're holding on to things and making things move forward by nurturing them and taking care of them. So we're, the hard work that we need to apply to our projects is best done during the time of Taurus. We also have a new moon in Taurus on Sunday at 3.18 a.m. So, you know, keep that in mind, too, so that you can begin the process of working toward your goals. Now, a little bit of a commentary on what's going on with the moon from sign to sign. On Monday and Tuesday, we have a Pisces moon, and on Tuesday, it's going to be void, of course. At first, I thought, oh, well, maybe be a little bit dreamy, and that's probably what you'll read in your horoscope. But what I'm finding out is that it's like... It might be my own kind of experience about it, but it's really bringing out um, situations that need to be addressed, perhaps by Mercury going into Aries. When Mercury goes into Aries, as you'll see in the next piece that I put up, um, it will be all about talking and saying what needs to be said in probably a rather abrupt manner. But I am finding that in some cases, one must be abrupt in order to get the point across. So that could be because the, the moon's in Pisces and people are trying to go like, I didn't really mean to step on your toe and grind down on it. I thought I was dancing in my head. You know, that's sort of the way that people are acting, to, at least toward me today. So it's kind of interesting. Um, beyond that, on um, Sunday... We will also have Mercury, Uranus, and the Sun, Sextile, Neptune. I think that that's going to be a very imaginative day and a good day for kind of lazing around also because we're going to have a Void of Course moon uh, going on. And it's just like another fresh start, so keep that in mind. And we do have Mercury direct and Mars direct now, so we really can be moving forward. Don't waste a moment and don't let other people get you down. Until next week, I'm Judy Vitale at ReadTheStars.com and you can contact me through the website anytime.